So guys, today I want to show you the reason why automatic transmission gearbox are not pulled. They should be told on a flatbed and not being pulled while the engine is not running. So I'm going to touch on two major issues that may that get damaged the, the engine and the gearbox. Mainly I'm going to touch on the gearbox, so I'm going to show you in detail what I'm talking about. So this is the, I have a prop engine right here. This is the engine. This is the engine right here. This is the gearbox. And I have a transfer case right here. This is a trans transfer case where the propeller is mounted. There's a transfer case. This is the gearbox. You can see the shift, the shifters. This is the shifter. That is the shifter. This is the gearbox dipstick right here. And this is the engine dipstick. So I'm going to show you what usually gets damaged. I'm going. Uh, this automatic gearbox is it. They don't have a clutch. They don't have a clutch like that that in manual car. So we have what we call a top converter. So I, 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 this is the top converter. It's known as the fluid flywheel. It can, it transmits motion from the from the engine to the gearbox. It transmits that seamless motion in it. Yani nakuwa smooth. So this is the fluid flywheel. It has two turbines. Katikati yake haba. So. What actually happens eh? Because you have provided kuna overdrive. So overdrive to prevent it stripping your gears for gearbox pale EV. To prevent that stripping of gear gears, it has a secondary clutch system. Kwa, kwa gearbox, it has a secondary clutch. Yeah, yeah. Ina transmit e e shaft in a toka upper, in a shika kwa in a pita kwa gearbox, overdrive when you engage the overdrive in a shikayote. The animation comes from the engine direct to the drive shaft. So there is no, no chance of slipping. So that is on overdrive. So I'm going to show you when you when you pull your automatic transmission gearbox, what usually gets damaged. So the to convert the UI damage. So gearbox, what we call the oil pump. The oil pump in gearbox. So the oil pump. The oil pump only runs. The oil pump your gearbox. It only runs when the engine is running. Do immediately after this fluid, fluid flywheel is the gearbox. I'm going to show you the gearbox. Immediately after this is the gearbox. The bell housing for the gearbox is right here. I love what put in my gearbox. But when I oil pump, then in a pump ATF covered bodies. Then qua then qua solenoids. I love in a fungulia gears. So we have an oil pump here gearbox. We have two types of pumps. We have engine oil pump and we have the gearbox pump. And the gearbox pump, when the engine is, run, is not running and you run it, the gearbox pump is the one that gets damaged. Because when the, the, the pump is not running, because in Azungusho Nahi, in Azungusho Nahi, Nahi in Azunguka Wakati, gearbox Wakati engine in a run, Indio in Azunguka. So Wakati here is Unguki, that means the oil pump here gearbox. It is not pumping ATF to the to the gearbox. Now, when it is not pumping ATF to the gearbox, that means the gearbox is not getting enough lubrication. When it tracks the lubrication, the clutches and all those components in the gearbox, they wear out majorly. So, even if you pull your automatic transmission gearbox, eh, if I could put a speed of 50 kph, you know how when they pull it, pull it. You know, I'm going to say this, and you're going to say, you're going to auxiliary. I can say auxiliary, Pump, oil pump, any gearbox you can ah, engine you can see, to say me you can see, barabara, you just put it in two mode, and then in the pump in the run, it doesn't require an engine, but that is now in history because one of the cut cost, so you like it to work, eliminate, you secondary oil pump, you can eliminate, so as in anger squeezy, so Gary, automatic, you can barabara, you just pack, and you barabara, you a flat bed, so I'm going to show you the, <coughs> the oil pump malik was situated immediately after this cobel housing. So let me show you. Okay. So guys, I'm going to show you the bell housing mali gearbox in a connector after the fluid flywheel in any maonyesha. Your fluid flywheel, where in a gear up, where is the grooves? You can see the grooves right here, up under your fluid flywheel in a gear. And then the gearbox oil pump is situated right after this. It is a pump. It is situated right after this, after even input shaft and in a EV, in a Zungusha, then in a pump ATF covalve bodies. Kwa masonoid, then in a Kujinanza, 
kuwenge zile magias through hydraulic ya UATF so when the engine is not running in a he he nini ya izunguki so hii wakati hii ya izunguki that means hii pump yenye iko hapa hai pump ATF kwa kwa gearbox and it is not lubricating the system the the gears will wanna will damage ama the way out due to the friction between two rubbing services and as a lubricative so when towing unafaa uweke gari neutral ukishaweka neutral then you can you can you can tow when the car is in neutral only the way shift yetu hapa so when, when the car is in neutral you can you can do you can push it but when it is not in neutral you can't but still in neutral bado hii kitu inazunguka juu ukiengage neutral hiyo kitu yenye hizo magias ndio zinaengage hapa inakuwa neutral so still they are not running so the gearbox is not getting the lubrication that it requires so it will end up costing you and it is not good so you should always for automatic transmission so although we have magari kama VW ziko na limp mode zinajiweka safety mode when they are hata iwezi songa hapo so kwa zenye zina you should pack kando uite flat bed kubebe gari to avoid damaging the gearbox so that's it for today let me show you another thing so i've shown you the i've shown you the top converter and the bell housing mali hiyo bell housing yetu dio hii hapa and then the gears right here so i will show you the gearbox I've shown you the gearbox oil pump where it is situated so I'm going to show you the engine oil pump where it is situated so let me get into it real quick so we, we ca you can see we have two te two sums right here the gearbox oil sump the ATF sump the engine sump so the engine oil pump is situated right here immediately after this sump iko hapa tu chini so this is the reason you are advised that when you are traveling on a rocky ground usikongeshe hii during the long run utakongesha hii alafu engine oil pump yenye iko hapa ndani ikongwe and then it instead of lubricating the engine ina seize and then engine yako ina ina seize pia because when this oil pump seizes it will lead to it will not lubricate the engine and you will get the area oil pressure too low when you see that error also you should pack immediately and call a flat bed so the engine oil sump, the engine oil pump is right here below the sump ngeifungua ni but because of time i will i'll show you the engine oil pump is situated right here and the gearbox oil pump iko kwa gearbox right after the torque converter so when you are doing your ATF service you should drain here and then the for 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 the converter i'll show you how you, we drain it so this is the gear the engine oil pump and the gearbox oil pump when the engine oil pump ceases you'll get oil pressure too low because it is, it is not functioning and when the when the gearbox oil pump is not functioning ile wakati mvuta gari na engine iran so in the wrong run in a caribbean engine so that's it for today thank you